place of the country. I do, I do endorse it. Some in the French press compare you to Napoleon. Some have compared you to Louis XIV, your predecessor in this office, and your former political patron, Francois Hollande, has said that, has warned you to remember that the French also cut off the head of the king. Do you ever feel you need to guard against being arrogant? Definitely. But having authority, deciding, being aware of all the consequences of your decision, and thinking that you have to stick to your decision to deliver when it's good for the country is not the same as being authoritarian or arrogant. So I try to preserve myself. I mean, all of us have a lot of defaults and weaknesses. But I think the situation of my country is the best remedy of being arrogant. You are not allowed to do so. I'm here to serve my people my country and make it great again. As somebody I know very well could say. But that's it. That's the whole story. And making great again means delivering good results, having more unity for the country, and being fair with, with the people. So all this criticism you mentioned are just here to say, now somebody decides and endorses. You have a parliamentary control, you have election, you have a democratic system. We are one of the greatest democracies in this world. But here, in this current situation, because of all, all the challenges in France, in Europe, in our world, I have to take these responsibilities. And I have to decide to endorse and to remain every day both lucid and committed. And I am. Mr. President, thank you. Thank Thanks you for you. talking to us. And safe travels to Washington. Thanks very much. Thanks to your people. And I will be very honored to, to come and visit your country and speak with your leaders. Thank you.